The Black Panther world premiere was last night in Los Angeles, and y'all, the purple carpet was a royal affair. The Black Panther carpet may have been purple, but all other red carpets can go home because this premiere just shut everything down. Black excellence was alive and well last night at the Black Panther premiere, and I am living for it. In fact, after I saw these photos, I died, vacationed in heaven, and then came back to life only to have my edges snatched by Angela Bassett. The cast, crew, and attendees wore African regalia garments and inspired pieces that easily made this premiere one of my favorite celebrations and displays of culture I have ever seen on a carpet. Lupita Nyong'o was the epitome of purple rain, and when I say rain, I mean R-E-I-G-N. She wore a Versace gown that made her look like the queen she is, and hands down, my favorite look of the night. Angela Bassett stunned in yellow fringe with a collar fit for royalty. She accessorized with gold accents, including bangles and fan earrings. She told ET, quote, this is the night you can be over the top. We are in Wakanda, right? It's all about colors, all about heat, and I think we're bringing that tonight on the purple carpet. The regalia continued with Janelle Monet, who looked like she just stepped out of reigning over her own kingdom in a strapless black gown with white and blue puff sleeves, complete with a colorful choker and crown. Issa Rae was another one of my favorites of the night in a white pleated gown with chrome accents in the lining of the dress. It was everything. Seriously, there were so many looks that caused me to bald. I can't even name them all. Chloe and Halle looked like glam warriors. Yara Shahidi looked beautiful. And while the queens of the night were a plenty. The carpet was also filled with kings as well. Chadwick Boseman, Sterling K. Brown, Donald Glover, David Oyelowo, the list goes on. This carpet was so lit and so freaking bomb, you already know Twitter was in a frenzy. One of my favorite tweets was, quote, I feel like these outfits were for anyone that tries to deny how African hashtag Black Panther is set to be. As in this movie is clearly going to be unapologetically black and you expect me not to be excited? Please. I mean, look at them all wearing their traditional African clothes that we used to get bullied for at school on the red purple carpet for a world premiere. Danielle Brooke wrote, yo, black folks out here looking like the royalty that we are on this Black Panther carpet, yes. Another said, the pictures from the Black Panther premiere are the definition of black excellence. On the carpet, the costume designer for the film, Ruth E. Carter, said, quote, I was hoping for this. All of the award shows I was watching on TV, I was like, oh, you wait until Black Panther red carpet rolls around. It's a celebration. The film is getting rave reviews, with some calling it the best Marvel film yet. A representative from IndieWire wrote, Black Panther is riveting on many levels, visually astonishing, but more importantly, so unpredictable. Incredible to watch a major blockbuster celebrate blackness while exploring its relationship to various facets of pop culture. Stop scaring me, colonizer. Hashtag Wakanda forever. Another said, Black Panther looks, feels, and sounds unlike any Marvel film to date. A visual feast. Wakanda is amazingly realized. The antagonist actually has an arc with emotional motivations. Marvel's most political movie, so good. The film has already broken records with ticket sales and will no doubt continue to shatter records when it hits theaters on February 16th. I am so ready. I will be attending in full-blown regalia. Thank you very much. What do you guys think about the jaw-dropping premiere looks? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and then click right over here to watch today's episode of DHR. Thanks for watching Clever News. I'm your host, Drew Dorsey, and I'm gonna go be unapologetically black.